I can escape from the world I see by giving up attack thoughts. Gives us a new context for teaching and learning. As the text was telling us, the teaching and learning is, is one of the greatest attributes that we have at this point. The teacher and the learner are equal. What you teach is what you are learning. Equal in the same order of thought. And the teacher teaches to teach himself out of a position, so to speak. The teaching is not to maintain a concept or role, just as student is not a concept or role to be maintained forever. These are mechanisms that the Spirit is using for extending, for clarifying, for purifying. And then as we move into the workbook we see that we are reminded once again that the cause of the world, we seem to see the cause of the world that is perceived is attack thoughts. So we are given the first very, very direct escape hatch from the sleeping mind. After lessons in perception and thought now we are directly given the escape hatch from the world of separation to eternity. I can escape from the world I see by giving up attack thoughts. This is a form of what Jesus taught in the Beatitudes. Judge not, lest ye be judged. By harboring and holding on to attack thoughts, we bring the experience of attack into awareness. Although attack is not possible in reality, and we are told that there is no point in trying to change the world because it's capable of change being in effect, but there is indeed a point in changing thoughts about the world because you're changing the cause. So today's lesson focuses on two aspects. Focuses on attack thoughts and not making them different, seeing the sameness of attack thoughts. That thoughts of attacking and thoughts of being attacked are the same and are not different. And you get a hint of why it's impossible to be a victim or a victimizer if thoughts of being attacked and thoughts of attacking are the same, there can be no victims and no victimizers. And then the second aspect of the lesson is actually giving up attack thoughts, of seeing that if you value peace, if you value happiness and joy, you must be willing to let attack thoughts go. You must be willing to release them. There will be no peace of mind 
if attack thoughts are held dear and clung to and protected and justified. If attack thoughts are held onto, then there will be a vengeful world perceived with everything in it a symbol of vengeance. If attack thoughts are, are protected and held dear, then there will seem to be an external reality, even though this is quite impossible. There is nothing outside of mind. And yet, with the trick of attack thoughts, which are reflections of the belief in the mind of separation from God, from Source, then this seeming pictorial representation of attack thoughts will seem to continue. And we're reminded that this whole process of attack thoughts and pictorial representations is really is just a fantasy. It's just a hallucination. We are dropping inward in the mind today, beyond the attack thoughts, beyond the image maker, to stillness, to Christ vision. To love and light and joy and happiness. To first an experience of the real world or the happy dream. In which no faith is given to the images. Just watch them. Watch them come and watch them go. Watch the parade. I strengthen this watching, this observing with today's lesson. I can escape from the world I see by giving up attack thoughts.